Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. You know, we see a lot of winter storms in West Michigan, but this one has the potential to deliver a pretty uh, impactful hit to West Michigan. And in addition to that, what we expect is a, a good chance of Arctic cold in its wake. So we're not going to have a lot of recovery time between the onset of this storm and the next thing, which is a blast of Arctic chill. This is what's going on right now. Just a few clouds, maybe a few flurries, but our area of low pressure that we're watching is going to be a fast mover, and it's already formed on this side of the Rockies. It's very important because where it forms will determine how it tracks. Forecast models are already picking up on the center of location, and it looks still to track right across West Michigan, delivering first heavy snow and then transitioning over to near blizzard-like conditions overnight Friday into Saturday, with even more lake effect snow expected on Sunday. So here's a brief look at timelines. Friday morning, dry start. The snow is going to start to move in from the southwest quickly, but it has a lot of dry air it's going to be running into, so it's going to be a cold, kind of quiet start to the morning. Don't look outside in the morning and think you're going to be waking up to a blizzard. That's not the arrival time we're expecting. It's through the afternoon and evening we expect things to begin to worsen. Heavy snow begins to pick up along with the wind. Temperatures top at 34 before they fall below freezing into Saturday morning. Saturday morning, it's more of that blizzard-like setup with the blowing snow, finer snow, maybe some drifting. And then as we continue through Saturday evening, a brief break before we get even more snow on Sunday. Lake effect does look like it's going to continue to kick in throughout all of next week. So extremely difficult travel. And again, that's because we have several snow types that are going to layer on top of each other. I wanna show you this, this is snowfall on the ground. By 8 a.m., look at how minimal the impact is. But as we get closer to two o'clock, we expect light snow to even moderate snow to be stacking up on the ground with heavy snow continuing, especially after dark. Saturday, we switch over to the fine powdery stuff. And these are the numbers we're thinking just for Friday into Saturday. Many of us looking to receive 10 inches of snow, 14 inches not out of the question, lesser amounts on the east side of the state, and we could still see some 14 inches plus. And this is Friday, Saturday. Important note, significant additional snowfall expected Sunday. So don't think it's going to be blue sky on Sunday. We have more to go. That's one of the reasons why power companies are a little concerned. Friday. Wet and heavy snowfall, very similar to what we experienced on Tuesday. Difficult to shovel, difficult on the roads. We could see snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour once the event gets going in the afternoon to evening. Saturday, drier snow and blowing snow. And then Sunday, lake effect blowing snow. So we're going to see all the snow types in this event. Here's Friday, 10 a.m. Again, you might see it on radar as temperatures bounce around freezing, but that just lends to the heaviness of the snowfall that we're expecting. And in addition to this, we expect the winds to begin blustering close to about uh, 20 to 40 miles per hour consistently. Some wind gusts between Friday and Saturday could be up near 45 miles per hour. So I'll scoot out of the way for just a moment so you can see the Arctic blast. But I do think power outages will be a concern. And then cold, a big concern. Some of our wind chills uh, dipping below zero frequently. Man, this is a big punch. We've been hitting this hard because I do think that travel is going to be pretty treacherous Friday afternoon through Saturday especially. Yep, okay. that's what we're anticipating. All right, Ellen, thank you. Okay.